Today, we are celebrating the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. And our celebrant this evening is Father Romy Dionisio, who will be assisted by Deacon Bill Mallatin. Before we begin our Eucharistic celebration, please take a moment to ensure that your cell phones have been silenced. And then please rise and join us in singing our gathering hymn from the Breaking Bread number 549, All Creatures of Our God and King, number 549. <laughs> Creatures of our God and King, lift up your voices, let us sing. Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Welcome to all of you as we once again gather together as God's family. Today, the Lord is inviting us to be like Himself in our love for our neighbors. So for the times we fail to do so, let us first ask him for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart. Though you may have to reprove your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future. All belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to anyone who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic and over your cloak as well, should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of the Heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same. So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. For Jesus Christ. Good evening, everyone. A brief homily tonight. Happily, we're going to hear from Father Thomas at the end of Mass this evening about the well project project in Tanzania, so we're happy to hear from him. You have heard that it was said, but I say to you, uh, brothers and sisters, this gospel from Matthew comes as a timely message as we begin our Lenten journey next week on Ash Wednesday. We all embark on that journey together of repentance. During Lent, we seek to draw closer to our Lord to become more like him. Well, as often as the case, Jesus' message isn't what we expect. It sounds 
pretty crazy. It wasn't what his contemporaries expected either. He spoke with the authority of God, which seems to be the crux of the matter for them. Who was he to speak in those ways? You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Pretty revolutionary. That you may be children of your heavenly father. For he makes the sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? He turns the table on them as he often does. He catches our attention. We can't avoid what he's telling us. Well, this isn't the teaching of an ordinary moral thought. It's something far, far different. Jesus doesn't hold back. He challenges us to love differently. Not those who love, just love us, uh, how easy it is, but to love those who don't love us, those who speak badly of us, those who make our life very difficult at times. Well, Jesus challenges his disciples as he does us to be above settling scores. We catch ourselves sometimes that I'm going to get back at them because of what they did to me. We see it in our children a lot. We hear in the gospel Jesus' words, so be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. It's Jesus' desire that we become conformed to his way of being. If we're seeking to conform our ways to his way of being, we need to search our souls this Lent. Who are we bearing a grudge against? Do we pray for those who hurt us? Do we pray for those we disagree with, including church leaders at times? Or do we just find ourselves criticizing them? You have heard that it was said, but I say to you, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men, for us salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate as a virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. God has sent his spirit to dwell in us as in the holy temple. Let us pray with the help of the same spirit who intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. For the church, the body of Christ, that all may know unity in Christ Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations and for leaders of government, that all may work for universal peace and prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For purity of mind and heart, that our bodies may be treated as temples of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For continued prayers for the people of Syria and Turkey, 
as they receive all the aid needed for physical and emotional healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Laura McLean and all our faithfully departed, that they receive the reward, the reward of eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For love and compassion among Christians, that our example bring conversion to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that God's spirit dwell in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for the names entered in our book of intentions, and for the parishioners of resurrection, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, help us in our weakness and hear our prayers, especially those still hidden in our hearts. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we um, bring our gifts to the altar, let us sing hymn number 646, we belong to you. Number six, four, six. my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Serve us in your world celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, Edward is assistant and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With confidence in the words of Jesus, let us call God our Father as we sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Precious as we forgive those 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. The Knights will be sponsoring a fish fry on Friday, February 24th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And it is all you can eat. Cost is donation only, credit cards are accepted. The event is eat in or take out and fish is either fried or baked. This is the only fish fry scheduled during Lent. Children under 12 eat free and the reservations are not required. There it is. So, <laughs> eat in, eat all you can. Take out, don't do it. <laughs> um, mark your calendars, please, for March 11, St. Patrick's Day dinner, sponsored again by the Knights of Columbus. More details to follow, but March 11. And uh, please take a copy of the bulletin. It has all the information for Lent, which begins this Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, already. Believe it or not, it'll be Lent very soon. Okay, now we have Father Thomas to tell us about the project that you so generously supported, the Giving Well Project. Thank you, Father Romy, for this opportunity. Once again, I'm grateful to God for having returned safely from my trip home and for being able to give you the final report on the Giving Well project that is so generously supported with your treasures and prayers. The project began on November 20th, 2022. The ground was surveyed and the water source was discovered within the parish compound only about 200 yards from the parish directory and incidentally in front of the chapel of our Blessed Mother within the parish compound. Someone was saying that our Blessed Mother whispered to her son saying they have no water. <laughs> Just like she said at Kenan Galilee, they have no wine. And water was discovered in front of the chapel of our Blessed Mother. So a borehole was drilled for about 500 feet below the surface to the bountiful source of water. Unfortunately, according to the operator's explanation, the source, I mean the water, is less susceptible to contamination. But because the available electricity didn't have enough power, it was single phase, didn't have enough power, to power the pumping machine, we purchased and installed the solar power system, 18 panels capable of producing 300 watts. Then the water tower tank was erected to a height of 25 feet above the ground, and this height ensures enough pressure to push the water into the buildings. And once the water was tested and proven safe for human consumption, the project was deemed complete and ready for inauguration. The bishop, uh, Bishop uh, His Excellency Method Kilaini, the apostolic administrator of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bukoba, my home diocese in Tanzania, officiated the inauguration on January 34th this year and I was there, you can see me. So the bishop blessed the water source, the solar power system that powers the pumping machine, and the two tanks on the gravity tower. And following the blessing ceremony, the bishop gave a very good speech, and this is just an excerpt of what he said, I quote, 
I want to thank the, your parish priest, meaning my parish priest, that's Father Romy. They call us parish priests, not pastors. So, I want to thank your parish priest, those donors, meaning you, fellow parishioners, and the Knights of Columbus who have made this possible. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. We say thanks not only to Father Thomas, but everybody who supported him. And I want to assure them that we are praying for them and wish them all success in whatever they do." End of quote. In attendance were about 200 parishioners from different parts of the parish, not including school children who you see there in front, all in a jovial mood. The bishop, the pastor of Minziro, his associate and every individual parishioner of Minzio, we are so excited upon seeing abundant, clean, and safe water being brought to their reach. I'd encourage you to uh, read more details on this report, including the breakdown of costs in the parish bulletin, but also on the parish website, resurrectionaz.org. Uh, we posted a video there for much more details on this project. Finally, and with renewed sentiments of gratitude, I thank you kindly for making this project a reality. You made the lasting impact in, on the people of Minzero. Since without you, without your generous contributions, this simply wouldn't have happened. May God bless and reward you times without number. Amen. Congratulations, uh, Father Thomas. Uh, and of course, uh, all gratitude uh, go to all of you who supported that project. It's really amazing and how beautiful to think that you have made a great difference in the lives of those people, you know, who've been really uh, uh, needing uh, water so much. So I was asking Father Thomas if the people carried the, him on their shoulders because <laughs> he's their hero, their former pastor. And uh, the good news is that hopefully your bishop will not recall you, you know, <laughs> soon. <laughs> Just to let you uh, do ministry here because uh, you're loved here. Uh, especially here at Resurrection. So you're a keeper. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so beautiful, he said that maybe the Blessed Mother whispered to Jesus, they have no water. <laughs> I hope that water does not turn into wine when they <laughs> collect. They want more water more than wine. So, but uh, again, he and uh, those people are very grateful to all of you. And thank you for coming to our celebration tonight. Good to see you all. Those who are here for the first time or visiting, welcome to Resurrection. Glad to have you here with us tonight. Hope to see you again next time. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, with the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed evening, everyone. And as we go forward, let us sing hymn number 200, Now Thank We All Our God, number 200. Zero, zero.